Are you tired of watching 20 minute videos on the new allegations in the Chris Tessin situation? Seeing dozens of new videos daily just to realize you've already seen this info? Or are you intimidated by other videos and don't want to watch them, but still want to be in on the juicy drama? Well, I have the video for you. Please enjoy. It starts off with Chris Tyson, who is a member of the Mr. Beast YouTube channel. Chris came out as transgender back in 2022 and was already receiving backlash for that, as Tyson had a kid and a wife. Then, in the month of July 2024, we have another famous predator, after Drake and Dr. Disrespect. Chris Tyson had been outed out on all social media for being a pedophile, with her messaging a 13-year-old when he was 20 and making, quote, jokes about, quote, coming for America, unquote, and offering nudes on Patreon. On top of all of that, Chris has also been caught buying lolly, and if you don't know what that is, it is depicting children in a way that only adults should be depicted in art. She bought a custom-made picture of a child and hung it on his wall. This can be seen in one of Mr. Beast's older videos at Chris's apartment. The artist himself is known as Shadman, and being associated with him is bad enough, but purchasing from him is absolutely unacceptable, as he has drawn pictures of Keemstar's seven-year-old daughter giving a blowjob to Donald Trump. Ava Chris Tyson, back when she wasn't trans, was part of a Discord server with some minors, in which she would share pornography and hentai with them. One of the teenagers in that server recently came out and exposed with actual Discord chats for evidence. This exposee is known as Nathan W, who has played a very large part in exposing Chris. And even to further confirm this evidence, another minor in that server, who up until recently was defending Chris Tyson, claiming that he wasn't groomed, confirmed that the Discord did in fact exist, but claims to not remember the inappropriate conversations. Chris has recently apologized on Twitter, however, it is incredibly lackluster and leaves more questions about if she even feels guilty. Here it is, quote, I would like to apologize for any of my past behavior or comments if I hurt or offended anyone. It was not my intent. Seeing recent events, we've mutually decided it is best I permanently step away from all things Mr. Beast and social media to focus on my family and mental health, unquote. Mr. Beast himself even contradicting what she says, claiming to have fired her, instead of her just quitting and leaving mutually. The only thing the apology does in my eyes is just confirm the allegations are true, considering she never denied them. This video was recorded on July 29th, 2024, so if any future information after this release does contradicts any of the info in this, then I apologize. If you're looking for more detailed explanations, I recommend watching Prison 42's video, as that completely skyrocketed and started the allegations on Chris Tyson, and as well as Internet Anarchist, who did a longer form explanation of all the allegations, and will be linked down in the description. Have a nice day.